Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you how to get started with free accounting software. So um, basically I've just installed the software on the, and that's all I've done so I'm just going to start it up now. Okay, um, I do these videos on a bit of a shrunken down screen so um, that it will fit on the um, website um, and uh, one of the things you can do is you can compress control minus to shrink the font um, and that um, allows enough space in this case for the two column layout um, you can press control um, minus again to shrink it further or control plus to increase the font uh, or control zero to reset it to the default okay um, you'll be using it on a um, you'll probably be using it on a um, larger screen so it'll probably look probably go straight to this two column layout okay so when you start it up for the first time um, it's going to ask you to create a new FAS identity um, and I will just um, create that now so I'm typing in my name and um, choosing a password now it is really important um, to remember your password uh, there is a bold note here if you forget your password your data will be irretrievable and the data is very secure as in protected by encryption and it is stored on your computer um, if you contact me later on and say you forgot your password um, can I reset it the answer is no um, this is your data on your computer and I don't have any access to it don't know what your password is and cannot help you at all okay um, there is no known way to get at or retrieve that data without the password okay so you might want to um, even write that password down somewhere and store it in a safe or something like that um, to to help protect it um, okay and um, in fact I'll, I'm trying not to do too much in one video here but I'll do another video on, on the security and user access which I think can help a bit there as well um, okay so um, just um, putting in my phone number and email address okay now there is a section here for agent details if you're a tax agent fill that in if you're not a tax agent leave that blank if you are not a tax agent do not put your tax agents details in there um, because it, it, you won't be able to lodge things um, you have to lodge as the business owner um, rather than the tax agent okay once that's filled in then click create FAS identity and the software takes you to the login page and you can um, continue from there um, to set up your business and, and so on now I'm going to break this up into several different videos um, mainly um, well to help people find the specific thing that they're um, in need of when um, looking for help rather than sitting through the whole all the detail 
so um, I will leave this video here but um, the next video uh, will pick up from here and we'll create um, the business file okay I hope this video has been useful and thanks for watching